Welcome back to the Making International Law in Korea video series. In this video, I'll be explaining one of the very sensitive issues in terms of the post-colonial issue, international legal issues of the Japanese military sexual slaves. The term Japanese military sex slaves refer to women who were coerced into prostitution by the Japanese government as well as those victims of systematic rape by the Japanese military. There are many terms that refer to those victims, such as 정신대 or 걸정신대, which are commonly called in Korea. Korea Council for the Women Drafted for Military Sexual Slavery by Japan, a very important Korean NGO dealing with the issue of the Japanese military comfort to women, used the word 정신대 in its Korean name for precisely that reason. However, this word does not accurately describe the comfort woman because Gul Jong Sinde was the official name, was the uh, workplace of 14 to 25 year old girls that were formed as a response to the deficiency in Japan's labor force during World War II. In fact, the word Jong Sinde was once associated with military comfort women because women were coerced into sexual slavery under the misrepresentation of being enlisted as Jongshinde. Therefore, the word Jongshinde is seldom used to refer to Japanese military comfort women to distinguish these two groups. Instead of the word Jongshinde, the word comfort woman is also particularly used. However, caution is placed using the word comfort woman because its implication that woman had willingly followed around the military man. Now, the most accurate description of the Japanese military comfort woman is to use the term a sexual slavery by Japanese army and hence the uses of Japanese military sex slave. During the Jinnu of Japanese War and Pacific War, the Japanese military engaged in rape and other illicit activities against the local inhabitants of the region they invaded. As a result, there were outbursts of anti-Japanese sentiments among the local inhabitants. In order to circumvent these sentiments as well as contain a leakage of the military secret, and laws incurred due to the venereal disease, the Japanese government forcefully drafted the Young Japanese, Joseon, and Taiwanese women as sex slaves and were victim to collective and systematic rape by the Japanese military. Further, the Japanese government and corporations operate comfort stations for men who were forcefully drafted into construction sites and munitions factories. Through misrepresentation and violence, comfort stations where countless comfort women were subject to systematic lay were installed in numerous occupied territories such as former Manchuria, China, Myanmar, Malaysia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and Pacific Island in Japan, and also in Korea. The number of facilities have been estimated to be at least a few thousand. However, NGOs that deal specifically with the issue of military sex slaves estimate there to have been anything from 10,000 to 20,000 facilities in total. For many years, the Japanese military sex slave issues were hidden from the general public by Japan's systematic concealment and as a means to protect the dignity of the victims. However, the issue resurfaced after 1990 as the victim began to speak up and scholars conducted studies and NGOs engaged in activities. Korea's democratization and changing social conditions also contribute in spreading awareness. After the issue began to surface, the Japanese government insisted that 
The computer stations were privately owned and independent the governments or, or military. However, in January 1992, one of the Japanese scholars disclosed resources discovered in the Japanese Ministry of Defense Library, which revealed the military's involvement with the composed stations. Thus, it became difficult for Japan's government to deny its government's involvement in the matter. Pushing to the disclosure, the Japanese government conducted investigations on the National Police Agency, Ministry of Defense, and National Archives of Japan, and interviewed relevant persons. At the end of the study on August 4, 1993, the Japanese government announced the following findings. The Japanese military was directly involved in the establishment and management of the computer stations, and sex slaves were under the control of the military within war area and lived in the misery and computer stations under a coercive atmosphere. And sex slaves were recruited against their will through coercion and transported on military vessel and vehicles, and sex slaves were abandoned upon military retreat. At the time of this announcement, the Japanese cabinet secretary expressed, undeniably, this was an act with the involvement of the military authorities of the day that severely injured the honor and dignity of many women, and that the government of Japan would like to take this opportunity to extend its sincere apologies and remorse. The issue of Japanese military sex slaves was also raised in the international society. In the report released by the ECOSOC Commission on Human Rights, Ms. Radhika Kumaraswamy, the special reporter on violence against women, as cause and consequences defined the violation against comfort women as military sexual slavery. Further, in the 1998 report, Contemporary Forms of Slavery by Ms. Gay McDougall, which was submitted to the Commission on Human Rights, some Commission on Prevention of Discrimination and Protection of Minorities. McDougall proposed the Japanese military they violate customary international norms prohibiting slavery and considered act of rape and forced sexual slavery as a form of crime against humanity in breach of international humanitarian law. The report recommends that the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights should work for the prosecution of those responsible for the atrocities and set up a swift and adequate compensation scheme. Further, the report recommends that the Japanese government should be required to report to the United Nations Secretary General at least twice a year a detailed progress in identifying and compensating the comfort woman and bringing perpetrators to justice. The Japanese government has yet to follow up on these recommendations. International law issues regarding military, Japanese military sex slaves include whether the act of the perpetrators are considered violations of international humanitarian law, whether the act of violation of customary international law, and various international treaties that prohibited forced labor and slavery, and whether the act are considered crimes against humanity. Other issues include the matter of criminal prosecution of perpetrators of international legal norms, and whether individuals have the right to press charges in a domestic courtroom as regards their international legal personality. The finally, a heavily discussed international legal issues is whether individual rights to claim Japanese military sex slave victims were extinguished pursuant to Article 2.1 of the 1965 Agreement between Japan and Korea concerning the settlement of problems in regard to property and claims 
and economic operation, so-called claims agreement, which provides the high contracting parties confirm that the problems concerning property rights and interests of the two high contracting parties and their peoples, including judicial persons, and the claims between the high contracting parties and between their peoples, including those stipulated in Article 4A of the Peace Treaty with Japan, signed at the city of San Francisco on September 8, 1951, have been settled completely and finally. The Japanese government holds the position that all individual claims of Japanese military sex slaves were extinguished for compensation against the Japanese government pursuant to the claims agreement. However, through the findings of the Prime Minister's office on August 26, 2005, the Korean government expressed the claims agreement cannot be interpreted to include crimes against the humanity committed by the Japanese government and military, and therefore liability of the Japanese government subsists, and further will continue to seek attribution and legal liability of the Japanese government on the military sex slave issue, whilst raising the issue through the UN Commission on Human Rights and other international organizations.